Alger Hill, and welcome to some Thrones of Britannia, a Total War saga. Thank you very much to Creative Assembly for giving me early access to Thrones of Britannia, though I'm a couple days late from the embargo. I only recently got it. So um, this is the first time i played this at all. I haven't even looked into it whatsoever. I'm recording this live at twitch.tv slash Alger Hill, and what we're going to do is we're just going to jump straight into it, and I'm going to play a couple games on my channel. Let's make a new, new campaign right here. We're going to do one English Kingdoms campaign and one Great Viking Army campaign, and if I really like the game on stream, I'll play some other ones as well. I'm thinking for this because it's my first time uh, playing Thrones of Britannia well. and a little bit of a while since I properly played Total War. I'm going to go West Siak, uh, West Siakse and Sniper says it's West Siax, not West Siakse. Okay, so West Siax. We're playing West... I'm going to call it Wessex. We're going to play as Wessex with Alfred and then on the other series, probably East Anglia or Northumbria, we'll take a look. Hey, Oakchi, welcome to stream. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm hoping that it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I'm thinking to turn the difficulty of the game up to hard. Because it is easy. I think I can probably handle this. I'm a decent player at this game, right? I'm a decent player. I I'm okay. I am audio spiking a little bit. I do apologize. That should help out a little bit. Okay. So we're easy of large territory. After decades of Viking raids, the West Wessex succession passed from brother to brother down to Alfred, whose temperament, some say, was best suited to a life of piety and learning. Having defeated the Vikings in battle, he has negotiated for a lasting peace. The Vikings reneged and their raids have since intensified. Oh, baby. Let's do this. So, we get feared. Part-time soldiers pledged to leave their farms for military service each, each year, can recruit levy based on the number of owned settlements, and commanders or all characters, and five melee skill for all units when defending. Go hard or go home, that's right, pure image. So pretty nice. Basically, when defending, we are very powerful, and the commander has a lot of value, because the commander aura. Uh, and the feared sounds pretty cool, too. And Wessex, uh, Witten, Witten has... National Assembly to discuss meetings and stuff. XP per generals per turn, so generals are powerful. And strong armored sword and spear infantry with impressive late game cavalry. And different can have the conquest, fame, and long king victory. And a new addition of an ultimate victory, where we can go any of the long victory types and then eliminate the invasion fleets. That sounds awesome. Uh, I'm going to keep it on battle time limit of 60 minutes. Come, Pepsi, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining me. Let's do this thing. Let's enjoy the opening shit and let's do it. Boom. Okay, let's do this thing. So we have a very large kingdom. I think we're going to be very powerful at the start. But I put it on hard difficulty, so I expect it's going to be a little bit more difficult than I anticipate. I said Pepsi. I said Pepsi. All right. Instead, I am indeed a fantastic player. I'll have you know. I understand tactics and charge and arrows and such. A little bit of challenge is good, you know. Occasional failures, you know, they make the game. I think it's an important quality. Don't you? Don't you? So, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a very long time for this. Of this lovely loading screen. As he says to go Dane Law or Bust. Well, we're doing Dane Law in probably the YouTube series I'll be recording. It's going to be off from this. Uh, so this should come out first. Um, and then the other series should come out tomorrow. And they're going to alternate. So this series and the other series. And I put these out every day. But just one every other day. I was considering playing Ireland, the Mead faction. Uh, which is in, like, this area. But the problem is, is that they seem a bit lame. They seem about more about diplomacy with Ireland. And that sounds kind of boring. I'm not sure I want to do that. It just sounds kind of dull. It's all right. Thank you very much for joining me, guys, on the stream. Welcome, boys. And we're here. Going to make some fun. That's cannot. No, it's cannot. <laughs> all right. So close. And now is the question. Do I cut out the crazy long loading times when playing Total War? Because for some reason, my computer hates Total War games and takes ages to load, despite having a fantastic CPU. There we go. Let's do it. Long have the Vikings raided our lands, but nothing prepared us for their great army. We've been raiding for like 80 for years. Decade, we fought them. 60 years. The tide of battle ebbing back and forth. Until finally, they were defeated, and their great army fled our lands. When did that happen? Now, England lies divided. Its old political order washed away. Too long have we fought amongst ourselves. Now is the time to unite as England. All right, Alfred, I believe. England is divided. Oh god, she sounds Weeping mean. from a decade of fighting. West Saxa has suffered greatly, West Saxa. but its star is on the rise. 
It is your fate to bring order back to these lands. You have vassals under your protection who are sworn to aid you in time of war. They are Gwent and Gluisig to your northwest, Defen and Kernu to your west, and Sooth, Saxa and Kent to the east. Wow, we're pretty powerful. It is important to maintain good relations with your vassals. If you do not, they may choose to break your treaty rather than join your war. Hey, Jesus, walk in the street. Rumors abound of new right. Viking incursions in the south. You will need to build up your defenses there to make sure you are not caught off guard when they strike. One of your armies is ready to attack the southern rebels. Dealing okay. with this threat promptly will bring much needed stability to your land. Yeah, murder and stability. Mission issued. Oh, look at this animation. I love it. Stabilize internally before you look towards our borders. Prove your rights to eliminate the nearby rebels. Gain internal stability five for five turns and eliminate the rebels at Shaftesburg. Armies and settlements may be selected. Yeah, no, I know how to select things. Thanks. Okay, so first of all, I live. Oh, this is Ebersham. <laughs> look, that's Ebersham. So I live about here. About here. Ebersham's actually more like here. I live about there. And London, obviously, nowadays actually stretches all the way here. Pretty cool. And there's Rochester. Okay, look, it's Canterbury. I went to uni here. Canterburg. And look, there's Thanet. That's where you live, pr uh, primitive. Burn Shaftesbury to the ground, oak tree. Dub oh, look at this. Look at this. Pevensey, Lower, Stavenbar, Midhurst. All right, cool. So this looks very nice. I like the graphical style they've chosen. Your armies contain just the right number of levy units to absorb the enemy's arrows. Can recruit levy units based on the number of owned settlements. I can have 21. One all regions and 5% food production. Okay. Residents reveal. Oh, baby. This is Magic Mike. That's right. This is Chippenham. Where's my soldiers? There we go. Okay, so this is my army. So we have Royal Companions of Elite Sword Infantry. There's going to be a much, very, very little cavalry in this, I think. So melee skill, melee damage. Okay. Cool. And we have Kettle Speardmen and Thens, who are retinue sword infantry. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Ah, upgrades. If we get trained fighters to get tech, you can actually upgrade them. That's cool. So shield so these Thens have Shield Castle. Heads down lands, they're about to get a little hairy around here. And shields ready, missile block chance. Expert charge defense. Hide forest and they're disciplined. Of course, doesn't suffer morale penalty. And they get these spear dudes who have hide forest and also do shield castle. And then we have some basic Carol archers. Resistance to fatigue, flaming shot. Oh, snipe. Hidden while firing. Alright, cool. And then we have uh, scout horsemen who are kind of light cavalry. Awesome. Oh, like a Stonehenge. Huh. And Not they've got yet. some shit units. That's fine. All forces Let's get them, boys. Battle is upon you. Okay. Three options are available. Yes, I know how to fight. Thank you. Okay, cool. And they just have some kettle spearmen. So the only have, I have one extra archer, and I have a swordsman unit. Sounds good. How long till Aldra gets Aldra deaded? Probably not that long, to be fair. So okay, so let's take a look at the command differences. Be nice if I could actually look at this information. So I have a command 10 with a governance of 2 and a zeal of 1. I actually haven't looked up what those mean. Very often it's come to my mind that what men of learning there were and how they were happy times. That none put faith in the first so Okay, that kind of changed too quickly. We need to read. So it's interesting. So there are some abilities we can use. I think we're going to be. Obviously, it's going to be fine. It's the first fight. There's no way that Aldra could ever fail on the very first fight. I mean, that would be ridiculous that that could possibly happen. Alfred Hill. Oh, Alfred Hill. That's the series name right there. Hmm. Love it. Love it. Oh, there we go. Finally ready. As attacking force. Yes, we're just going to wait. Let's just go. Let's just fight. I don't want to wait. Your troops must be yeah, no, I know. Before... Shut up. Oh, so we can just use deployment. Okay, that's cool. So, I mean, it's not particularly difficult. Hmm. Camera's weird. Good idea to just take a look at this, you know. Classic Total War camera. Ah, uh, man. I would prefer the... I think I prefer the standard camera. 
Yeah, I prefer the standard camera. Okay, cool. So, let's do this. A bit more controllable. Let's stick to the woods. Let's let the AI come to us. So, pretty standard array. A little ca cavalry to flank. I don't know. Maybe I like the other ones now. I've been so used to that. I'm so used to going to standard. Let's try and go classic now. All right, let's do this. So the thing is to compare the two. What's this? Oh, that's really cool. Does it show you the level of comparison? It does. Look at that. It shows you the baseline level of comparison that they have. So I've got these guys selected, and if I go over here, it'll show me what they are. That is awesome. That's surprisingly interesting. Okay, so obviously their their melee skill is much less. Basically, these guys are worse in every single way. So really, I want these guys to I want these guys to hold and these guys to break. All right, let's do it. Your mounted troops are swift and powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the fight to Ready for war. All right, we're gonna lock these guys together in the same little. On the double. We'll keep them on walk. Nice. Oh, they're running about like little pansies. Oh, come on, bro, bro. All right, let's go. Oh, this is very cool. I like this. Let's move our troops. I like this. So, an individual known as a curl or churl is very popular. Probably the basis of a free population of noblemen or slaves ranking below the servile class. I like the details. I will not crash your game, I promise, sniper. I like these details, man. I like this. I also like that I can keep the game unpaused. Tents and landowners. Being freemen, they would provide their own weaponry. On the spears, they were given they were arguably wielding the oldest post, but weapon in existence. Cool. Then we have retinue swordsmen. Militants of lords and kings not shy away from war. You bet they don't. I'll read all this another time. Oops. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's lots of very cool things here. Look at this. Okay, let's start to consider some more interesting battle tactics because they once again they have literally the same shit Do these guys have bonus against cavalry or? I'm guessing as spearmen they would right I would assume Hmm doesn't actually specifically state that they have better Because these guys are sword infantry, so I don't want to waste them uh, fighting thingies here we are. We're gonna wait until we have the range to fire on them, and then we're gonna try and hit their front rank with some archers. Oh my god, are they literally just running away from me? What a bunch of pansies, please. Bro. God is with us, yes indeed. Alright, horses, you just walk. You just walk, horses, alright? There you go. Keep them running. Hell no. Let's do this, lads. Come on. Yours to come on. All right, there we go. I'm, I'm being very careful my first battle because I don't want to freaking die again. Archers. I too frequently just die. Oh, I just realized these guys have skirmish Archers. mode on. No, thank you. As you command. All right. Set for war. Take the fight to them. Yeah, take the fight Great to them. Much. Woo. Get them, boys! Cavalry. Run while you can. It's a challenge. Nice. Our general is under attack. Ready. All right, they're trying to break me in wedge. Okay, um, so we're gonna need to kind of disengage this. That's fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shield castle. No, I don't want them to be able to not move. Toggle loose spacing. Toggle guard modes. Get them, boys! Here we go. They'll be, they'll be able to help. I probably should have had the spearmen on the right flank. Right, those spearmen will charge them. Now we're talking. How's their horsemen doing? Scouts from 46 and against 57. There we go. Alright, pull out. 
making haste. Archers, aim and fire. Good shit. All right, now we're going to charge the horseman again. 46, 30. There we go, stick on. There we go. Nice, they'll die quickly. All right, they're going to kill them. They're broken. Right, we've got to kill the archers now. Because otherwise our general's going to get stabbed in the flank a bit much. Good shit. Are you guys firing or not? Yeah, you're refusing to fire. Okay. Oh, for Christ's sake. Not a game of this shit. There we go. Just break them with firing arrows at them. Please tell me that broke them. Oh my god, did it not break them? Jesus Christ, it didn't break them. Oh, taking a bit too many casualties to my liking. Right, there we go. Now they're dead. Jesus Christ. Lost a couple of archers there. I did not need to lose. I'm finding it a little difficult to actually tell when my, which ones are mine and which are theirs. So I know that I do have these little icons, but that's a little frustrating. It's actually not that clear which one belongs to which. So that's a little frustrating. How are they? They keep coming back. No, I'm trying to select on them and I just can't. That's annoying. Cancelled movement for no reason. Alright, there we go. Thank you. Alright, please go kill them. Thank you. Jesus. So, I did lose a, a bunch of casualties there that I did not need to lose. I lost 116 men, which wasn't great. I don't know why they got rid of this. Old Tots of Wars used to be able to show you individual unit uh, kills. Like, you can see this now. You can see that they the number of kills they had. But, but I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's experience? No. It's what they started with. Cool. But I want to know... Okay, so I guess you can tell... No, what? You can't tell anything here. That's just their kills. I want to know how many exact casualties each one has suffered. That's very frustrating. Why? They used to be able to have individual kills. But you can see their individual kills there, but I want to see how many... No. Oh, I'm getting judged in my recording folder by feedback. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Decides to victory so we can go ransom release captives for 70 money gains. We can get unit replenishment for take on warriors for 3% replenishment. Wow. Wow, we. Three dudes. Or kill captives. Um, sure. Let's just replenish, I suppose. Enemy killed in battle. Aetherhead of the deceased. Legion's rebels. Cool. Mission succeeded. Gain internal stability. Mission. It's feedback shaming. Wow. In good order. Okay, so it did mention there was going to be some invasions from the south, so I would assume that's happening soon. Uh, but I don't know when, so let's march. go to this woods and it's just hunker down. March. So we do have general details. Let's take a look at our general right now. So this is Alfred. Ten command pips. Jesus Christ. Look at the rally he's got. Oh my goodness. 100% bodyguard size. So their actual bodyguard size goes up per level of command skill. That's interesting. Uh, they get rally and they also get metal. Night battles and morale. Okay, cool. Governance increases construction. Zeal increases commander aura and just everything. And so I have, I have a scribe. Ah. Character skill points available to spend. Spend skill points on the followers listed below to increase the bonuses they provide for this character. So instead of actually having individual skills... I instead have followers that I can upgrade below me. That's very interesting. And this is also all the things that I can do and all the stuff I get. So I'm unhealthy, apparently. I'm famed, so I get recruitment cost reduction. A good leader with means which balance out the unhealthy. High spirited for command, governance, and zeal. Legendary general, which means I get taunt and raise banner and fearless. So currently I have a scribe, it gives me money and local governance. If I upgrade, it would get better. I could get a champion and get extra melee skill and command, but I've already got max command. 
A barb would give me zeal. Forager gives me unit replenishment and food production. That definitely sounds like what I want. Ooh, siege holdout time. Well, let's go uh, forager. Get one of those bad boys. Awesome. We await your commands. And then apparently it told me to fortify southern villages. I have reduction. I have low war fervor due to border wars, which gives me a reduction of fame and unit replenishment reduction as well. Shit. Having really better than skills means your heir can inherit the retinue members. This is my towns. We've got Wareham. I do have like five grand, so I should be able to upgrade quite a lot of things. Clay pot for pottery, extra things to market. Farms. Lead mining, that's cool. And fruit tree orchards. Unfortunately, not, do these not increase defenses? These provide more garrisons, that's something. Well, let's start to promote garrison defenses, shall we? Let's just end our turn here and see what happens next. Because at the moment, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Let's find out. We have a huge amount of land to deal with, though. Holy Christ. So much area. There's South Sussex. There's South, South Sussex. There's Sussex. And they're my vassal. They have a lot of stuff. They have Hastings. Peffensee. Pe Pe Peffensee. Who knows what that is? I don't even know. Alright, that's going to be it for the very first episode of our new Thrones of Britannia series playing on Twitch.tv slash Aldra Hill. And we are playing as beautiful, One beautiful Aldred. Yeah, shut up. We don't care. And we're going to see what happens next. I'm not super sure what we're supposed to do. We'll figure it out. I was Aldra Logan TTP. This has been some Thrones of Britannia. Make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.